Dear students, now come to the conclusion of this part and this lesson. What we have learnt? Growth, respiration, excretion, reproduction, response to stimuli, movement, a definite lifespan and a cellular structure are the characteristics of living things. Animals grow for certain period of life. Plants grow as long as they live. Animals have specific organs for respiration while plants respire through microscopic pores and their leaves and the stem. The process of eliminating waste products from the body is called excretion. All living things have the ability to reproduce. Living things move because of their ability to respond to stimuli. Plants show spontaneous movement, but they cannot leave their place and go elsewhere here and there as like animals. Living things have definite lifespan at the end of which they die. Many animals and plants are useful to us in our daily life. Some animals and plants can be harmful to us. And at the end, the smallest unit of every living thing is a cell. I hope you will understand the lesson of living world better and will complete the assignment 